doing that, man? I couldn't sleep, so I made you some tea. Well, I made us some tea, actually. You do that at 7 in the morning. I know that. Why are you up at 7 in the morning? You're never up. Because of my back. I couldn't sleep. I'm just tossing and turning. I've been tossing and turning on. That's good. It is? You like that one better than a lemon ginger? Yeah, definitely. So what's going on with your back, man? I don't know. I just got a sharp pain going up it. And then it's like something going around. I don't know. Honestly, it just hurts. I know that much. So don't you think you should probably go to the doctor for it? For what? What they gonna do? Give me some medicine and send me on my way? Why am I doing that? So did you at least take anything? No, I'm not gonna take nothing. I'm just gonna let it fix itself and I'm gonna enjoy my tea. Tea doesn't solve everything. Tea gonna solve this problem. <laughs> yeah, I really think you should just go to the doctor. Do you know people who go to the doctor, they give them some excuse as to why, you know, they can just go back home and they give them some medicine. Go home for a couple of days and it turn up that it's something else. Exactly. So don't you think you should go get it checked out? No. The last time my grandpa went for a back problem, it turned out he got cancer. So they're not going to tell me I got cancer. Yeah, but wouldn't you want to know from early? You think I want to know I got cancer? Yeah, but wouldn't you rather know? No, I don't. I'd rather not know and just find out when I find out. How you going to find out if you don't go, babe? I don't know. I find out when I find out. When I get there, I get there. Right now, I'm going to deal with the problem at hand. You don't know the problem. Though. My back is the problem. Exactly. So go get your back. No, check. I'm not. You want me to pay for it? No, I got my own money. I don't want you to pay for it. I don't want to go. It's not you whose back hurt. It's my back. You're not the one who they're going to tell you got foot cancer because your back hurt. They're going to tell me that. I'm just trying to help you out, bro. Okay, well, don't. Can you at least consider it? I'll think about it. Oh, my back is killing me. I should just listen to him. Let me see what doctor you got. I want no woman touching me. I want a man. I want a nice strong man. Is this a I don't Yeah, I'm gonna get him to do this. Hello. Hey, how can I help you? Hi, um, I'd like to set an appointment with whoever is on your Google pictures oh are you talking about ryan yes yes ryan can i get ryan to um do my massage please all right let me check his schedule real quick okay i'll be waiting it seems we have one for five is that okay with you five o'clock today yes ma'am yes i can do five o'clock today okay can i get your name and number yes my number is 804-223-9275 and your name jessica okay jessica i see you're on five wait i do have a question is he like gentle or is he like how did how does he's able to adjust to all his customers what was that ma'am no i didn't say nothing i said all right i'll see you at five o'clock okay thank you ma'am have a nice day so ryan today oh 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 hey sweetie <laughs> Not really, but I did make an appointment. You did? Yeah. For the doctor? Which one? No. Not going to the doctor. Stop asking. I'm going to get a massage for my sis. That's good. Yeah. Are you scared? I need to call the medic. Are you scared? So, how can you not scared to go tell my sis that you're scared to go to the doctor? I don't know. I'm just, you know, I don't think I'd be. Scared to see this. This they got good with me. 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 Good with Three or four more emails. So how much you think you'll be working? Four o'clock. Maybe till it's six four, wait, thirty. Four o'clock. I just told you it was four o'clock. Okay. I think I got time to get dressed. You think I should do my makeup? You gotta get dressed. Why are you putting on makeup? You know you're gonna be laying flat. I don't right? even really wear makeup like that, so. I, 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 you know, Mrs. is. Come on, 
my stomach so they don't see my face? No. So they, the person that's doing it, they're not going to know me. Like, yeah, but they're not going to see my face. They're going to... No, I haven't, but you know what? It's fine. I'm just so gonna basically, listen. when you go, they're gonna uh, put you in with a little nice car, and you basically you get a little towel. Yeah. Like that. Like they might be hot or it might be cold. Okay. You know how they do it. Okay, like, don't, don't tell me. I just wanted to be a surprise. It's not gonna get dressed. What do you think I should wear? Should I wear a dress? Why don't you just wear something comfortable? Like what? Like some slides and leggings? Yeah, some slides and some sweats. So you want me to look like I'm not put together? Hey, you're getting a massage, you're not going out to a dinner. Yeah, but I'm just not seeing this person. I gotta make a good first impression because I might be going back. I don't want them to think I'm I You know it's a whole bunch of people, they probably don't even speak our language. They're not gonna oh, know what you're saying. You might um, I'm gonna get you stuff. I'll see you later. Right, girl. You finish up this stuff. Ah, I'm gonna check oh, on you, okay? Mm, yeah, thanks. I like this dress. Okay, we're gonna go with this dress and then the bracelet, yes. The bracelet matches. I actually like the bracelet. It goes with the first with the silver, so we're gonna do. All right, babe, I'm about to go, okay? Wow, you look... Oh, I, I gotta go to my appointment. I'll see you later. Jessica? That's me. Okay, come on, follow me. All right, right this way, ma'am. Go ahead and have a seat on this table for me, please. Excuse me, honey. Woo. So, how's your day today? My day's been going great, actually. Besides my back, but yeah. So, it sounds like I already know what you're coming here for. Mainly just your back? Yes. Okay, That's so... That's it. Nothing else. Just that. Okay, so normally... We do full body massages for our customers, mm -hmm. but since you mainly just wanted back problems and stuff, mm -hmm. we're just gonna focus on your back for today. Okay, that's fine. Uh, wait, is there a problem? No, no, it's no problem. I just didn't know you offer full body massage. Oh, well, the guy up front was- No, the kid you. up front did not tell me that. Well, yeah, he's just new. He's working here because it's summer, so it's just like an intake. Yeah, it's okay. It's like you ain't got but explain Just me. so you know, for next time, you yeah. can go ahead and come in yep. here and I'll give you a full yeah, body massage. Or if you decide to go to somebody else, then they Somebody else? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, go ahead and lay down for me. Let's go ahead and All see right. how your back feels. I'm going to look for the tenseness in your back. All right. And then I have a question what you was talking about the next time. Oh, go ahead, man. Do you allow your customers to come back work once whenever they want to, like any day? Bi weekly. Bye. The reason I say bi-weekly, like I tell all my other customers, is just because if you guys come in every week, I'm putting so much pressure on your back that it's not going to feel comfortable like it's supposed to when you come in for a massage. It's going to start feeling uncomfortable because oh. I'm doing it too many times. The, the tits. Exactly. You understand. Some people don't understand. They get mad at me, but I'm glad you understand. Yeah, I totally understand that. I'm not mad at you. So for now, I'm just going to focus on your upper back. I'm oh, going to okay. see how your upper back is feeling as far as tenseness, okay? Okay. So you do seem a little tense up here, so I can see what you've been complaining about. Let's see what your middle back. You said middle back or was it the up the bottom? It's the mid back okay. right here. Like right here? Yeah. Okay, let's see. Oh yeah. Well, um, so normally when people come into me for massages, they're never this tense. Mm -hmm. I really think you should probably go to a doctor maybe and okay. get this checked Excuse out. Me. Excuse me. Excuse Is there a problem? Huh? I didn't come here for you to give me doctorate advice. No, I wasn't giving you advice. I'm just no, you told me to go to the... I didn't come for your suggestions. Okay, I sorry. came for a massage. I'm tired of everybody telling me to go to the doctor and then the doctor go tell me something else. Do I know you? Rivercrest High School. You graduated in 2014, right? Yes. You don't remember me, Ryan? No, I do not remember you. I didn't even notice you from your... Come on, bro. Ryan McBrien. Remember I wore the big goggles in chemistry class? No, Ryan You don't remember that? Okay, I know how you're gonna remember me. I blew up that thing in the school. I remember now. Why didn't you say you got some soft hands? Why didn't you say that, Ryan McBride? You already said that to me. I recognized you when you kind of lashed out on me just now because you used to always do that. I, I did not do that, Ryan. How you been? I've been great. How about you? I've been pretty good. So how's your wife? My wife? Yeah. You know wife over here, sorry. Girlfriend? No. Oh. I'm kind of just focusing Kids. on myself. Kids! No. I'm kind of just focusing on myself right now. 
Well, I don't mean to come off rude. I don't have a problem having a girlfriend or anything, but I don't have one as of right now. But since you're asking me that, I'm guessing you have a husband? Me? A husband? Nope, no husband in this picture. Come on now. What about that dude you dated the whole high school semester? You remember him? Yes! Was that his name like Charlie or something like that? Y'all not together no more? Nope, me and Charlie are not together. Anymore. So are you with anybody? Well, me and Charlie kind of, you got this little on and off thing going on. You know, that's about it though, but we're not like, it, it, it's not, what? That's not what I wanted to hear. But like, no, we're not like in a relationship, but we're not like, you know, it's a situation ship, let's call it that. So you basically free? You said it, I didn't. Mm -hmm. So you wouldn't mind if I took you out on a date, would you? All right, I'm just going to go ahead and hit it out. Wait, did I say something wrong? No, have a nice day. What's this? Hello? Hey, is this Jessica? It's Ryan. Ryan? Ryan, how'd you get my... Hello? Hello? She must got bad connection. Hello? He really likes me. Ryan, how'd you get my number? Um, I looked on the sign and she... Look, I know it's wrong, but I just couldn't help myself. <laughs> So I was just wondering, like, are you available for a date? I'm available. Hold on, let me check my calendar. Okay, well. Yeah, I'm available. I checked it. Yep, I'm free tomorrow and the day after that, anytime. It doesn't even matter. I really prefer three o'clock. Three o'clock is. Who's that? Hello? I'm not 
like that ate my dinner, but I'm trying to make you feel better. And where's your brother at? He went to his one-week girlfriend's house. He did one? He went to his one- I heard you the first time. Why didn't he ask me if he could go? I don't know. I tried to tell him, but he was in a rush. So he didn't give you anything for Mother's Day to give me? No, but he got his girlfriend a book bag full of things that's not for school. Huh. Interesting. That boy's in trouble. Okay, I heard you call me that on the phone. My grandma told me you are what you eat, and I don't eat pickles or chips, so can we fix that? And you call me mama, and I don't have any kids besides my baby dolls. Alright, what about my snicker buggers? Sounds like buggers don't like it. Alright, maybe we'll just figure it out later on the phone. Okay, what were you doing here? Oh, I came to bring you your gifts. My gifts for what? What, what is that for? Well, it's a book bag, because I know you needed a new book bag, because I saw you with holes in your bag. But I also added some more stuff in here so you can see here. Thank you! Can I look inside now? Yeah, go ahead. Today's our one week anniversary! Yeah, it is. So I was wondering about that. Do you want to be my girlfriend? Yeah! My friend said it was weird to celebrate a one week anniversary, so My I... sister said the same thing and I told her to get away from here. My dad's here, so I'm really not even supposed to be down here talking to you. Yeah, I don't want to get popped today. I'll see you later. Okay, bye! bye. besides my room. Why, Mom? I don't want you in my room. I don't want anybody in my room. But I'm sorry. I accept your apology. And the other time you would want me to watch TV with you? Okay, well, I'm going to finish watching my shows. Can you finish watching it after I give you your gift? Is that for me? Yes, it's for you. I love you, Mom. I didn't mean to forget on purpose. It was just that I was so Break cool. Break it here. Let me that. see it.
go to your room because you're not li go to your room you're not listening i like the balloon but I love you too. Now go before you make my leg go. Joey, honey, it's time to go. Come quickly. Oh, hey, bro, can you come over, please? I just got the latest Call of Duty. We can really kill some noobs. Yeah, I'd love to. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Aren't your parents supposed to be coming to pick you up? Oh, no, my parents usually work late, so I take the bus home. Yes, hey, Mom, is it okay if Mikey comes over today? Please, we already finished our homework at home room, so we have a free day. Please, Mom, I could really use a teammate for Kai. But where is Mikey's parents at? They can't come get him. Oh, his parents work late, so he was going to take the bus anyway. Please, Mom. Oh, fine, but you better wipe your shoes. I don't want you getting in here getting it all dirty. Why your parents don't pick you up? And why you gotta ride the bus? Let me guess. They don't want to be bothered, huh? Um, they're busy. I don't mind, though. Mom, stop! Oh, hush, Joy. I'm just asking them. That's all. What is that smell? Mikey, when the last time you took a bath? Mom! It's okay, Joy. Miss Key and I just showered this morning. I find that seriously hard to believe. I mean, look at the state of your shirt. Like, do your parents not bother to wash your clothes or even buy you new ones? You look homeless. Mom, it's not like that. You're being rude. Actually, I think it's me who stinks. We've been hooping all day, bro, and I didn't even put on deodorant this morning. Yeah, Joel, you can wear my Absolutely not. What kind of cheap deodorant is that? It's generic. It's not even name brand. Joey, you not putting them chemicals on your skin, but you better wait till we get home to take a bath. Here. I like him. What do your parents do? Actually, my mom is sick, and my dad works two jobs so he can pay the rent and pay for my mom's medicine. These days, people call laziness being sick. Yo, free Lord and mama probably at home, living comfortably on her couch while she eat up all her food that she got from them food stamps that us taxpayers had to pay back because we go to work and we work hard every single day. I don't like that at all, you see. Don't tell me it's not like that. I know your type when I see it. No, please stop. Mikey's my best friend and you don't know anything about him. You know, you really should have just people that you don't get to know first. So now you gonna tell me what it's like for people when you still need your mommy to tuck you in at night? Why do you have to be like that? Ugh. Hey, Joy, I don't mind. See, he don't mind. He probably grateful that he riding around in this luxurious car instead of the bus. Ain't you, Mikey? Um, sure, Miss Keaton. Oh, Mikey, hurry up, bro. I'm gonna check my room my new car so we can kill some dudes and come No, your house is so cool, man. Oh, it's not. Mm, you never asked us to take off our shoes. I still have on mine and so do you. You're wearing the latest Jordans and they spotless. Plus, I'm wearing Louboutins, so we good. But him on the other hand, I don't know what type of dirt, mud, and germs he got on the bottom of his shoes that he can track inside our house. So sorry, Mikey. Come on, let's just go to my house. Okay, Joy, let's go. Die, son, die! Get him, get him, bro! He's right behind you! Oh, man, I gotta reload. Quick, cover me! I can't, man! I'm surrounded! Oh, no, I'm dead. I better get home, it's getting kind of late. No, bro, you can't leave yet. Let's get something to eat. At least eat something and then you can go. I know you're hungry because I am. Yeah, I'm kind of hungry, but are you sure it's okay for me to stay? Yeah, of course, bro. Why wouldn't it be? Let's go see what's in the kitchen. My mom hasn't really come down yet. The cookie's taking a break, so will some honey bunches of oats be okay? Of course, I love honey bunches of oats. Sorry, Miss Keith. Joey said I could have some, but there's a little bit of milk left for your coffee. No, I'm not using your backwash milk. What is disgusting? Mom, we have plenty of milk downstairs in the stores. I can just go bring up another one. That was just the only one in the fridge. What's wrong if Mikey has one bowl of cereal? It's not my job to feed him when his own parents came. Um, Joey, I think I'm just gonna go to your room and get my bag so I can go home. No, bro, please stay. Look, I'm sorry about my mom. Just, just go in my room and wait for like five minutes. I'll be up in a few. If you still want to leave after that, then fine. Well, the nerve on that boy. I better not catch you stealing anything while you up there. Boy, honey, I got us some sushi rolls. I'm sure you're hungry, so let's eat. Okay, can Mikey have some with us? There's like over 30 rolls in there. He loves sushi. But if he loves sushi so much, then his parents should be buying it for him. It's not my job to give out free food to freeloaders like him. Mom, what are you doing? 
think that that boy is a bad influence. He's dirty, he stink, and he poor. All y'all do all day is play video games. You barely pass in this school, and it's because of his bad influence. Before he came along, you was doing pretty good for yourself. But now that he's here, it's like you failing all your classes. You better recognize that boy just trying to use you because you rich and he poor. I'm doing perfectly fine before Mikey came, huh? Okay, let's see my grade then. This was three weeks ago before Mikey came. In my class, I got a D minus. The week right before he comes, I get an F in science class. Now, the week when Mikey comes and I finally become friends with him, I get an A minus on my math test. All because I want to play basketball. And Mikey said, no, we're not going to play basketball until you study first. I study first and I got an A minus. And then, not only that, he helped me on my next test and I got a B plus. So, please tell me, is Mikey the problem? Wow, Joy, that is great. Why you ain't show me that before? I was planning on surprising you. Me and Mikey were even making a special appreciation folder for It's beautiful, honey. I don't know what to say. Thank you. Should be thanking Mikey, not me. You said that he was poor and that his parents don't feed him just because his mom is sick. You think that his mom is pretending to be sick for a disability check from the government? That is not the case. Look at this paperwork of his mom in the hospital. His mom has terminal blood cancer and his dad actually does make a lot of money. He's like the head of a firm or something. And the only reason Mikey always looks homeless is because he always has to get himself ready for school in the morning and take the bus because his dad is too busy taking care of his mom. And when his dad asks him if he wants some new clothes or shoes, he always says no because he just wants his mom to feel better. I even asked him to stay for dinner was because I knew his mom was too sick to cook and his dad doesn't know how to cook. So they've literally been eating fast food every day for like the last couple of months. So I thought maybe a healthy meal would be a good change for him. But then you came in saying all those mean things and judging him before you even really got to know him, mom. That's unfair and I thought you were better than that. Oh, Joy, I'm so sorry. I had no idea poor Mikey was going through all of that. I feel terrible for the way I treated him. I need to apologize quickly. Yes, you do. I keep telling you to never judge someone before you actually get to know them. I'm sorry, Miss Keen. I didn't mean to go him up. The only reason I'm still here is because Joy asked me to be here. Oh, Mikey, you don't need to do any of that if anybody needs to apologize. It's me. I judged you before I even got to know you. And the milk, psh, that doesn't even matter. Can you find it in your heart to ever forgive me? Of course I can, but why are you apologizing all of a sudden? I know I can be quick to judge at times, and I'm really sorry for what you and your family are going through with your mom's illness. If there is anything that you need help with, and I mean anything, you just name it. Me and my dad are doing just fine. Thank you for offering that. I was very kind of you. Fine, if you don't want my help, but you have to do one thing for me. Sure, what is it? We got so much sushi downstairs. A little birdie told me that you love sushi. So why don't you just come down there with us and eat it all up? Sure, you won't get mad? I promise, you can have all the sushi you want. And if you're craving a home-cooked meal, you can just come over and eat, no questions asked. Oh, and if your dad would like to, he can come over and eat with us. But if he doesn't have time, I can just pack some food for him. Sure, that'll make our lives so much easier. Of course, anytime. And I've got something else, it's not much, but I hope you do not mind accepting it. Consider it a heartfelt token of an apology from me to you. No way, Miss Keaton, this is way too much. I can possibly accept this. You have to, bro. I look good in this, Miss Keaton. Thank you so much. You should really thank Joey for making me realize that I should never judge anyone before I get to know Joey, them. Joey, you the man. No, Mikey, you the man, bro. Okay, okay, y'all both the man. Now let's hurry up and go downstairs because that sushi, it ain't gonna eat itself. Man, I almost got enough for a new Robux card. I'm so thankful that mom bought those snacks. She thought I'm eating them, but I'm really just taking advantage of these kids selling them. Like one day.
day you can. Why not now? Because I'm kind of just taking it easy. I want to get to know you more. That makes sense. That makes sense. Oh, speaking of that, I just remembered. I got to go home because I got to go watch my little sister. Can I meet your mom? Yeah, maybe like in a couple years or so. I can't go with you now? No, because I have to go watch my sister. My mom's okay. not home. Okay, well, go ahead. Bye. I'll just All right, wait see you later. Mom. Hey, look, it's a bird. <gasps>
Although it didn't work out with the boy, Layla realized that she didn't need a relationship to be happy and that having her brother around was way better than having any boy around. Well, hey, my favorite is sister. Oh yeah, that's right. So what are you doing? Drawing with my new markers. You want to join? Me? Draw with you? Out in the open for people to see me? Uh-uh. I think I'll pass. Not cool. Oh yeah, well what if I told you I got Senate markers? Would it be cool then? Mm. Maybe. Maybe not. You gotta let me sniff it first. Not so fast. I'll only allow it if you agree to use them. Yeah, sure, whatever, Chloella. Now let me see which one I want to use. Hmm. Cherry. Ew, no. Great. Allergic. Chocolate. Disgusting. <gasps> you have blue raspberry? <sighs> I wonder what it tastes like. What? It'll taste like you can pay me a million to try that. Why not? Because it's not safe, mouse brain. So there's no way at all that you'll try it. I mean, there is one way, and that's that's only if I'm dare. <laughs> Perfect. It's game time. Who are you talking to? Nobody. Nobody at all. You want to play truth or dare? Oh, I love truth or dare. Great. So, truth or dare? Truth. Sorry. You can't choose that, so dare it is. Dude, what? You can't choose that, and the other only option is dare. It's not fair. Life isn't fair according to mom, so suck it up. Now, I dare you to go in the kitchen and drink marker juice. Uh-uh, no way. You have to. I don't have to do anything, because you, you ain't my mom. Yeah, but I dared you. Okay, and wait a minute, wait a minute. Did you forget that? I chose truth and you chose dare, which wasn't even my first opponent. Option. What? Never mind. Well, is it true that you're a baby? No. Yes, it is. You're a baby because you don't want to do your dare. How are you going to answer my... Save it. Now, it's my turn. Cheater, cheater, pumpkin eater. What? It's my turn and you're, you're a cheater. Oh, yeah? Well, you cheated first when you didn't do your dare. <laughs> and plus, it's my game. Now... I dare me. You dare you. That's what I said, right? I dare me to drink marker juice. You can't do that. I got dared, so I have to do it. I'm not a baby like you. Well, what if, what if something happens? It won't. Do you see those muscles? I'm strong. <coughs> I'm going to prove it to you. You just watch. I can't believe we're actually related. Um, hello. Come on so you can watch. I'm coming. I'm coming. You know if you actually do this, you know I'll end up being the only child, yeah. right? Yeah! Whatever! You really think you're doing something, huh, Mr. Not-So-Smarty-Pan? Oh, I'm doing something. Just watch and learn. Matter of fact, you should record this. Smart idea so everybody can see your not-so-smart idea. So today, I got dared by somebody close to my heart. Real close. <sighs> so today... I got dared to drink marker juice, which is in my cup. So let's drink it. Mom, if you're watching this, I had nothing to do Turn that camera with that. back around so they can see me and not your dinosaur head. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Oh, wait. I, I don't think I was recording. So I have to do this all over again? You never do anything right, you incompetent little... Oh, wait, wait. Never mind. I was recording. Oh. <laughs> You know I love you, right? Okay, I'm gonna do my drink now. So, how does it taste? <coughs> it tastes <coughs> pretty good. Does it really? Yes, it really does. Why wouldn't it? <coughs> <coughs> Caleb, are you okay? Caleb, can you hear me? Caleb, Caleb! Are you okay? Yeah, I'm... Are 
you want me to call her? <gasps> what did he say? Nothing. He can't say much. Why not? He drank maca juice and then he fell on the ground. Go get him some water. And why would he do that? She said, why would you do that? He's sleeping now. Koala, hurry and get him some water now. Ah! No! 
what I expect from you. But him, on the other hand. So maybe if I fail, I might get something, huh? No, that's not how it works. Playing them games. No, I'm not playing games on mom's phone. 
because you know she don't like that stuff. And by the way, where is she? I think mom left her phone and she was rushing out the house, so I just answered it. Boy, don't you know you ain't supposed to be answering adults' phones? Yes, I know I'm not supposed to answer adults' phones. You don't have to tell me that. I'm going to tear your little behind up when I get home for talking to me like that. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. You don't have to whoop me. I, I wasn't trying to be rude. Just let your mama know I was trying to call her. All right, I'll let her know you're cold. I don't know how I'm going to do that. We're old enough to figure it out. All right. Bye. Bye.
purse. All it for. Look, okay, good, good. The battery has been just gone. Oh. Oh. All right, call. Hello, hello. Am I speaking to Miss T? Yes, this is her. I'm so sorry to bother you today, but um, we need that money for your mom's appointment, or we're gonna have to give that day and time to somebody else. Okay, one second. Let me let me go ahead and protect her. Okay, ma'am. Take your time. Uh, see, what? it's just the worst day. I'm telling you, it's just it's just not my day. Not my day at all. I, I just don't. What, what am I gonna do? Um, mommy, what's wrong with you? Me? Yeah. Somebody took the money. But why didn't she stand up for herself? You know, put her foot hey, up. What? I'm trying to tell you what's wrong with me, okay? And you know what else, Tara? So I'm telling you. Okay, go ahead. Um, what does that have to do with why you're mad? I go and I go to my account. I'm getting ready to, you know, pay for the stuff. I got no money in my account. That's why we've been telling you to stop working from home. I mean, who even pays somebody to work from home? You about to make me mad. I'm, it's not the day. I keep telling you it ain't the day and it ain't the time. Okay, okay. So what happened? But it's fine, cause I'ma find out who did it, and they'll give me my money back, cause I already called the police. And whoever did it, they go in jail. So they don't have to be here anymore. Beware! Like anywhere near us? Y yes, nowhere around. They they, they can't talk to nobody. They can't do nothing. They can't. Who did it? How you know who did? It? I saw them. Duh. So who did it, Lily? Zachary. So you really gonna sit here and blame your brother? I'm telling you, he did it. I'm not playing games with you. You the one calling my name like you got an attitude with me. Anyways, let me tell you about your son. Go ahead. Tell me what he done did in school today. He didn't do nothing in school today. The boy done decided to take my car and take all the money off my car. And now I can't pay for my mama's surgery. And how you know he did that? Because Layla told me. Come on now, baby. You know they be lying on each other. How you know she telling the truth? Because I know. The boy got clothes back there. Look like he just spent about $5,000. $5,000? 
$5,000? Yes, $750. Or oh, what she say? A pair of socks or a shirt or something like that. Nah, that's ridiculous. What you gonna do to him? I was gonna let you handle it. Let me handle it? All right, well, if I handle it, I'm calling the police. I don't, I think that's a little too far. I, I told him I called the police, but I ain't calling the police because I don't want them. Why are you telling him that if you ain't really gonna do it? I'm scared of what you mean? If you don't call them, I'm gonna call. And you wanna know what's gonna happen if I call? I'm gonna call the whole army. Okay, never mind. No, 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 no. Let me, let me figure something else out and then we can just go from there. said she was going to call me. So what were you doing yesterday at 5.30 p.m.? Um, sir, I was just in my room minding my business like you should. Don't talk to me like that, boy, for I'll put you in handcuffs right now but without even questioning you. So like I was saying, were you talking to your dad on your mother's phone yesterday? Duh, I was. And if you knew that, why would you even ask me? Yeah, I do know because I can trace everything. And also, after you talked to your dad on the phone, what did you do after? Um, and what else did you get out your mom's bag after you did that? Her wallet! And why did you grab her wallet? Because I wanted to, dude! Yeah, why would you want to grab your mom's wallet when you're not even supposed to be in a woman's purse? Have you ever heard about not going in a woman's purse? Yes, I have! So why did you do it? I don't know! You did it because you thought you were gonna get away with it. Well, I mean, I didn't get away with it! Yeah, you didn't get away with it, so you know what happens to little boys that like to steal? Sir, technically, I didn't even steal it! She's my mom! No, it doesn't matter if she's your mom. Did she give you permission to get it? No! Okay, so you stole it. Sorry, Mom. Yeah, it's too late to say sorry now. You're gonna go to the big house with all the other people that do things that you do. So you're, you're arresting me and taking me to jail? Yes, turn around. Now. 